Well, thanks for coming back to my video series investigating ARM Cortex M33 core and ARM Trust Zone for ARM V8M. This is the tenth video, and this week I'll be looking at the in system programming feature on the LPC 55S69. It's sometimes referred to as the ISP mode. What we're going to do is show you how to use the in ROM bootloader to program images into Flash on the device. As always, let's start in MCU Expresso. Today I have opened the LED Blinky example from the SDK for the LPC 55S69 EVK. Now I haven't made any changes at all and what the project will do is just blink the blue LED on the evaluation kit at 1 Hz. So let me build the project right now. It's going to build without any problems and generate as always the AXF output file. Now today I'm not going to use the debugger and I'm going to download it via the boot ROM and I need to generate a binary file for my project. I can do that with the binary utilities. So I select the AXF file that's been produced and right click in MCU Expresso and I use this tool here, binary utilities, to create a binary file. MCU Expresso IDE has now produced a binary. We see that here, it's project name dot bin. Well, I'm going to open that in Finder on my Mac. You could do this also in Windows Explorer on a PC. We just right click. We open the project properties just off screen. And we get this quick shortcut to open it in the System Explorer. I've opened that here in Finder, we can see the project just there. Well, what I'm going to do is rename it to something a little bit shorter. And because this blinks the LED slowly, I'm going to call it slow.bin. And then just for convenience, I'm going to move it onto the desktop. You'll see why in a moment. So let's put it on my desktop. There it is, slow.bin. While I have the desktop open, uh, just make a note of this file here. It's a Mac executable called blhost. It's available from NXP and also for the Windows operating system where it would be called blhost.exe. We'll come back to that in a moment. Well, what I want to do is to produce another example project or another example binary file. And this time I'm going to blink the LED faster. Quickest way to do that is just to modify this delay parameter here. It was a thousand, a thousand milliseconds. I'm going to delay only for 200 milliseconds. We'll blink the LED faster five times a second. Okay, I've changed my code. Let me save it. I'm going to build the project. And this time we have a new output file. And again, I'm going to create the binary output. There, here it is. I'm going to open that in my finder. Do that again with properties. There it is. And here it is in Finder. It blinks the LED fast, so I'm going to rename this to be fast.bin. Now I have two example binaries, fast.bin and slow.bin, and they're both on my desktop. I've now finished with MCU Expresso. I'm going to open a terminal window on my Mac. If you were doing this on a Windows PC, you'd open the DOS command prompt um, with the command cmd.exe program. I need to connect my LPC Expresso EVK to my Mac. I do that through the debug interface. It's labeled debug link P6 on the evaluation board. My Mac will install a calling unit, a CU device type. In Windows, it would be a simple COM port. You could use Device Manager to find out what COM port was assigned. On my Mac, list 
the installed devices. It's in dev and it's a format here. There we can see I've got a calling unit, a USB modem HSAUCQFR2. Yours almost certainly will have a different name and if you're on Windows PC it will simply be a COM number, so COM5 or COM7. Turning now to the evaluation kit, I want to use the boot ROM. There's some information in the user manual for the LPC 55 S69 about the boot ROM. Let's take a quick look at that now. I have it open in Adobe Acrobat. And in the user manual, here's the user manual for the part. The boot ROM is described in chapter 6, 7 and 8. We're going to be using the in-system programming feature. So let's open that chapter. And we can see some information about the ISP function in the boot ROM. We can see the devices that it supports, UART, I2C, SPY and USB. Today I'm going to do the demonstration with the UART. Inside the boot ROM are a number of commonly used utilities like programming the flash, erasing the flash and inspecting features of the microcontroller. I'll show you that in a moment. We need to enter ISP mode and this is done with a pin and that pin is described in the um, chapter 6 in the boot ROM. So here we are in chapter 6 the LPC 55S69 boot ROM. Now there's a pin named ISP which can be used to put the microcontroller into ISP mode. That's defined on this page here. It's the ISP pin it's on port PIO 0 underscore 5. When the ISP pin port 0 pad 5 is held low at reset, the boot ROM will enter ISP mode. The ISP pin is brought out on the evaluation kit. We've got the board schematic here and it's hidden away down on the switches. Let's have a look at those. And switch number 1 is connected to port 0, pad 5, it's labelled ISP. For now what I'm going to do is enter ISP mode and I do that by pressing the ISP switch, then pressing the reset switch which will force a reset on the board. I release reset maintaining ISP held down and then finally I let go of the ISP switch and the chip enters ISP mode. Well let me now turn to my terminal. Well I've already identified the, uh, the calling unit that's been assigned and now I can start to interface to the, the boot ROM. BL host is a utility that we use to communicate to ISP mode. It runs on either Windows, Mac or Linux and I'll show it now on my Mac. I'm just going to drag BL host into the terminal window and we can see it here. This is a command line utility so I can type commands to interface to the boot ROM. So I run blhost and I need to pass in some parameters. The first parameter dash p is the interface that I'm using. I'm using a port interface and I have to give the device name and the baud rate 115 200 in this case. Actually the ISP ROM supports auto boarding and so you can select your own board rate. Dash dash is the spacer and then I'm going to call the get property function. And this confirms I have a connection between the BL host on my machine and the evaluation kit. Property 1 is going to request some basic information about the boot ROM. And I can see I get a response back from the board. It sends a response word, zero, success, and then some data, and then blhost decodes that data and shows that the boot ROM is currently version k2.2.0. If I rerun blhost and look for the version number of the host tool, I do that with the dash v version command, I can see that blhost returns with version 2.0. Well, there are a number of get property commands that we can use. And one of the most convenient ones is get property number seven. 
This lists all of the functions that the ISP boot ROM provides. The commands available are flash erase all, we'll use that one, read memory, write memory, the get property commands that we're using, receive an SB file, execute call, reset, set property, and spy. I'll only show a fraction of these today. Another convenient one is get property 3 and this shows me the flash start address and of course flash on the LPC 55S69 begins at address 0. You might wonder what interfaces we can use to communicate to the boot ROM and this is done with property get property number 2 and it shows that we're supporting UART, I2C, SPY and USB. The BL Host User's Guide defines the commands that are available. We can see flash erase all, we can see write memory, we can see read memory, get property. Uh, these were the ones that we saw when we used the get property with option number seven available commands. And they're all documented in the BL Host User Guide. And additionally, the range of parameters for the BL Host get property are defined can see version number, available peripheral starting address, a mask for the available commands. Uh, we've just seen that. Let's just come back into the terminal. Well, we want to be able to download a program image to the board via BL host. And I can do that with the following commands. So first thing that I need to do is to erase the flash. I use the flash erase all command. The flash on the evaluation board has now been erased. And then to download my image, um, I use the write memory command. Now this only accepts a binary file and needs to have the start address set. So I know that the start address of flash is zero hex. And the last parameter is the file that I want to download. So I know that this is on my desktop. And first of all, I'm gonna download slow dot bin okay we've downloaded uh, 5600 bytes and the chip is now flashed simplest way to actually see that happening is I can use the reset command and this will reset the chip out of the bootloader ISP mode and into execution of the image. That's been successful, and now my LPC 55S69 is blinking the LED slowly. Let's now program the fast image, and I need to return my board into ISP mode. Well, I now need to go through the uh, previous steps, and um, what I'll just do is check I've got communication I have. Now I need to um, erase the chip, flash erase all, that's successful. And then I am going to flash the image with fast.bin. That happens very fast and I can now reset the chip and I'll see the LED blinking fast. Great, well that's the ISP mode on the LPC 55S69. I hope you continue to find these videos useful, and if you do, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it with your friends. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.